Hi guys, so it is me Obed, and today I will talk about all about live kits. So basically, in my channel, you can see a lot of videos around live kit and voice AI agents. So I thought maybe do a full playlist where we can see like each and every concept one by one, and this will be the first video of that complete playlist, and I, it will be just like a uh, live kit 101 course where you will understand all the concept uh, around voice AI agents okay let's get started so first thing so I have my notepad here and so we have uh, web sockets and web RTC so these are the two concepts uh, which can be used to build a voice AI agent right so we will just see what we are using in live kit why we are using and why big giants like open AI or even like this telephony AI marketplace like retail or WAPI or these kind of services they also use WebRTC and some of them also use live kit as their backend right open ai also use live kit so yeah that will be the topic and if you are working on any custom project you can reach out to the email or the whatsapp and we can see if we can build things together okay let's get started so now just go to live kit documentation this will be the link just search for docs live kit and you will be landed here now uh, because we are interested in mostly AI agents so this live kit also build like avatar agents like where you can actually talk with a, a real-time avatar and video conferences and something like that but this video play uh, this playlist i think it will be focused on ai agents and most probably telephony plus front end also right now let's come to the concept of web sockets versus web rtc so i just did this uh quick chat gpt search to make it better understandable for you so like I asked, which is good for voice AI, web sockets or web RTC. Uh, and it say, it depends on what kind of voice AI, but you will see what is better like generally, right? So for the web sockets, a low latency, full duplex connection between client and server. Uh, but here we can see a real time peer to peer protocol designed for extremely low latency and uh, one more thing which is quite interesting is this it is uh, perfect for a VoIP like use case which is obviously the telephony use case right now it gives us the human like conversation so that is definitely a pro the only con is that it is really complex to set up if you are writing web rtc yourself like in code uh, maybe it will take you a decade to understand all of that and then build it on your own right so it's just like uh, saying that i will not use this chat gpt or uh, gpt5 llm and i will build my own uh and then i will compare it right so that's not gonna happen right no uh unless you are a big tech giant who can spend millions and billions on uh building technologies from scratch right so that's just a fact and i think you now get the point like web rtc is a go to technology when it comes to voice AI agents and that's why uh, open AI uh, and like many of these big giants even like retail AI uh, they use chat uh, this J uh, web RTC sorry uh, 
yeah chat gpt is always on the mind so yeah it also say if your ai is meant to check like a real human then webrtc is much better now let's just see how we can build our first agent right so what i will do is i will go to the live kit agent section and i will go to quick start and i will build a voice assistant uh, with the python library so python is a go-to language when it comes to ai it is just another fact now i have in my notes two things one is the stt llm tts versus voice in voice out and that is just the real time apis okay so from the name you can see stt llm tts that is speech to text then your llm which is the brain the intelligence and then tts text to speech so whatever you will speak it will go to a brain it will go to llm it will give us some response that response will go to tts uh, text to speech and it will uh, speak out right versus voice in voice out so whatever i am speaking it is directly being predicted the voice out so like just like next token prediction so it is just doing like next segment of voice it is predicting in real time now one thing you can easily uh, you know see that here latency will be higher because text will be converted into uh, voice and then your voice will be also converted into text and then llm is doing some intelligence there so all of that takes time obviously now voice in voice out is definitely uh, minimal in terms of latency and all of that and there is a much better option so now there are two types of building the voice ai agents so one is definitely this pipeline the other is the real time model which is voice in voice out now when you uh, i will i will definitely suggest to go for real time models right and there are two kind of providers uh, here they are saying only one open ai but gemini also have their real time api so you can use that uh, okay so you just how i use all of all of these agents i just open up a new repl in the repelit and then i will just install all of that so i have already installed this so only just what you have to do is copy paste this command and hit enter and it will take care of all of the installation and dependencies for you and then for the env one thing is obviously you can create a dot env but uh it is quite old standard nowadays so in repeat you have the secrets so just like uh create a secret and your name will be this one and obviously the keys will be you will grab your keys now how you can get your live kit api key api secret and live kit url you can just go to your dashboard so when you sign into live kit you will have a project there and you can create as many as you want so just like i am this in this project which is joe agent now i can go to settings and i can go to api keys and here i can create the api key right this will give you three things one will be the live kit url the other will be live kit api key and the third will be live kit api secrets so you have to set them all so that is just the setup thing now comes the main code 
so just copy this and paste it in your repellent file just create a new file like agent.py or whatever just like i have this one uh, restaurant agent.py uh, so yeah just copy paste all of that now where to do changes is this is the instruction so just feel free to uh, copy your prompt or like write your prompt in whatever the style you want I like this style like the identity role menu uh, it is just a restaurant use case so I'm using that and now you will say like this is just like a small piece of code but you have almost uh three two two hundred lines of code that's because i have included a lot of stuff there just like function tool function calling to take order and all of that it is actually a production system and one of the restaurant so yeah that's why i have that but i will create more videos on how you can you know use all of that but for now you are just good with copy paste all of that and so like replace you can rep uh, think of this code being replaced by this one and then you can now how to run the agent right i think they will also tell you but they only tell you for the playground but what we want to do is actually talk to agent through a phone call now for the telephony integration you have to do this step i will create a new video uh, uh, a separate video for the telephony integration for now i can just run the agent and then i will call it from my phone and you will see it will answer my call so here i can see for the restaurant agent i have this command to start the conversation with this hello welcome to russian cuisine restaurant how can i help you now i will just call my agent so i have connected it to a phone number i will call that here we will see the activity hello welcome to russian cuisine restaurant how can i help you today uh yeah what, what you can do for me can you take the orders of course what would you like to order okay so we can talk with our agent definitely right okay so i guess uh that was it for the video but one more thing is you can connect your agent with the front end and let me just show you a quick demo for that also so if you don't want to uh talk to your agent or like you are uh you know telephony setup then you can uh use a front end application in like next years or something like that and connect it to your voice agent right now this is uh one of the agent and i can talk to it it is speaking in my language like urdu hindi but you can you know take the idea हेलो मैं आपकी कैसे मदद कर सकती हूँ ओके okay, uh, मुझे एक पानी की बोतल चाहिए जी मैं अभी भिजवाती हूँ कृपया मुझे आपका नाम और कमरा नंबर बता दीजिए ओके सो डेट इज आल्सो फॉर एन होटल बस यू कैन सी हाउ इट इज वर्किंग एंड आल्सो द लेटेंसी इज क्वाइट लो राइट सो या डेट वाज इट फॉर द वीडियो इफ आई गिव यू और रिमाइंड यू दैक अवेज what you have to do is come over docs uh, of the live kit go to the voice ai kickstart 
open up your repellent create a new repel open up the shell and paste copy paste this command for installation first of all you have to install and when you create a rebel please choose python in there right so that we have pip and all, all of that installed and then for the environment variable go to secrets and create new secrets uh, for the code just copy this and paste it here and for the command i have already told you how you can talk with uh, so that is in the telephony integration but i think you can just talk to in your console if you just in like initial stage so you can do that i think next video will be on the front end or the telephony and then you will be able to integrate your agent with a phone number okay thank you i will meet you in the next video uh thanks for watching